Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today we do another question from the nice question series. Today's question falls under the extension one syllabus. However, the question actually comes from an extension two paper before the new syllabus in 2020 was, um, were, was set in place, where before that, extension two had um, perms and combs and it had hard questions. So today's question, it's not ridiculously hard. I actually think it's it's manageable, um, but it does come from the extension two syllabus. But I think if a school was to pick up a, a, the similar concept, easily throw it into extension one as a slightly harder question, but you know, nothing ridiculous. So before I dive in, um, if you haven't already done so, please um, subscribe to the channel, like this video and tell your friends. Guys, let's dive in. So today's question comes from 2017 Sydney Girls. Um, now it's a full marker, and I think it's fair to say, part one, it's worth one mark, but I reckon it's probably worth at least two. Um, you know, if it's in three, it may be three, but I think two marks at least would be fair. One mark has been unfair. Question two worth one mark is fair. And question three, um, two marks is okay. So let's get let's get started. So using the letters in the word stretch, now in the word stretch, there's two T's, right? And I think that's the only repeat, yeah? How many two letter arrangements are possible. So if you haven't done so already, look back at my um, combinatorics perms and combs videos. In the permutations um, video, I do um, do a harder question where I say to you, there is a trend for harder permutation questions where they give you a number of letters. In this case, how many letters are there in stretch? Two, four, six, seven. And they make you, um, and the question basically goes, can you please make an arrangement where there's less letters of less letters than the seven. In this case, just two letters, right? So in the previous questions, it was like, I don't know, eight or nine letters and uh, you make five letter words, right? They're harder because the reason why they're harder is because you have to, especially when there's repeats, you got to consider the cases, right? In cases, the cases in this case is there's two T's, one T, no T, right? And then the approach that I take, now not every teacher takes, and I can see in the solutions that, they do um, for Sydney girls they didn't take. I always take the approach where you um, select or choose the letters and then arrange, right? It's a really good way of thinking about it. Um, I'll apply it to question one. Question two says, if the letters are selected random to create a two-letter arrangement, what is the probability, right? So it's a fraction, right? That the two-letter is that. So of the ones I do in number one, how many of them are TT, right? Easy. And then the creation of a two-letter arrangements form the word stretch is repeated, right? How many two-letter arrangements, how many times do we need to do this to ensure that the probability of obtaining double T um, is seen at least uh, at least once exceeds 90%. Cool, guys. So the last one just sounds like a probability question um, and not really combinatorics, but okay, let's see. So now I've got the letters, I've got two Ts and I've got the letters S, T R E C H, right? So seven letters all up. So I've got two repeats and five other letters. So that tells me that I probably should do uh, three cases, right? Maybe I'll go case one, right? Maybe to illustrate, I'll go case one, no T's, right? And then case two, one T. And then case three, two T's, right? Now, in the event where there's no T's and I'm only making a two letter um, arrangement, right? So I'm picking from these five, right? So I got one letter there, one letter there. Then the approach will be now, remember? Yeah, so maybe I'll go choose letters and then arrange letters, right? Yeah, so by that I mean for the blue part, I need to choose two letters from the five, so it's five C two. Now, when it's um, combinatorics, when it's C, there is no arrangement; it's just selecting, right? No order, and then we order it, right? So from the two, there are two factorial ways of ordering it, guys. That's the calculation. Now, if you punch it in the calculator, I believe it's twenty, right? Twenty. Now, for the next one, I know one of the T's is selected already, and another letter is selected thereafter. So. The T's I don't need to choose. I've already chosen it from the five letters. I'm choosing one. And then 
I'm arranging these two with two factorial, um, what in two factorial ways. That's five, that's two, that's 10. And the last one, because it's just TT now, I'm going to do it this way just because it's easier for me to explain it to my students like this, where I say to them, always deal with the repeats at the end, right? Don't be like, because it gets a bit like circular when you go, oh, you know, it's repeated, or is it one case, is it two cases? This is what I say. Okay, firstly, choose letters. Um, I don't, I've already chosen, right? That's one. I, I, there is only one option, two Ts. I, I can't choose anything, right? How do I arrange it, guys? There are two factorial ways. But because there's two Ts, two repeats, I divide by two factorial. So deal with the repeats at the very end. One, and that's one, so that's one. All right? And then if you add them all together, the final answer for question one is 31 unique ways. All right? 31 unique ways. So that was asked for, yeah, how many arrangements? 31 um, arrangements, right? So I'll just speak. Yeah, 31 arrangement. Is that okay? So I actually think that's worth at least two marks, right? Um, but one mark, I mean, this was previously in four units uh, extension two. So I guess for them, you know, they consider this to be easy and they, uh, a lot of times the extension two papers are not, um, the, the marks don't mirror the amount of effort. It mirrors the difficulty level, right? So if it's an easy question, but it takes a while, still one mark. Because look at the next one, right? It takes a heartbeat to do because from all the all the arrangements, how many of them are? What's the probability that there will be TT, guys? I can see there is only one that's TT, right? So therefore, the probability that it's TNT equals to one on thirty-one. I mean, that one's done in a heartbeat. That one's done in five minutes or whatever. Um, same amount of marks. It's just not it's not right in terms of that. Um, but you know, it's a difficulty, I guess. Any, but saying that, I think the first one was more difficult. By far, so I don't know why it's only worth one mark. Anyway, next part. How many two? So the process of this is repeated, right? So basically, I keep doing it. Right? I keep selecting two, keep selecting two letters, select two letters again. How many two letter arrangements need to be created? And how many times do I have to do this to ensure that um, getting TT at least once exists? So basically, in mathematic um, term, right? We're basically saying the probability, right? of TT, right, exceeds 0 0.9, right? That's what I want, yeah? So at least once, okay, at least once. So maybe I'll write, I'll write in words at least once, right? Exceed 0 0.9, yeah? So this is basically saying, oh, I've got no more vertical space, okay? Let me move that, actually, you know what? Let me just move this whole thing up to make it a bit cleaner. Perfect. So this is basically saying the probability, so one minus the probability of no TTs, right? Is greater than 0 0.9. And we know that, um, now you don't even need to apply binomial probability. No TT is basically, if probability of TT is one on 31, no TTs will be 30 on 31. So it'd be like one minus the probability of um, 30 on 31, yeah. Now, n times, right? So I don't know how many times I need to repeat this before this is true, right? So it's n times greater than 0.9. Does that make sense? So probably because it's like um, your tree diagram, right? So if it's like TT, no TT, the probability here is 1 on 31. The probability here is 30 on 31. And they basically want you to go down this path a few times before um, it's greater than, or so they want the opposite, right? They want basically... Uh, oh no, they do. They do want that. But this this arm here represents the probability here, right? So, and it's trying to find how many times down that branch um, before this um, inequality is true, right? So, with that in mind, now I have my um, my inequality that I have to solve. Guys, switch the order so that guy comes over. Point nine comes over. So zero point one is greater than thirty on thirty one n. Switch the order, 30 on 31, n is greater than 0 0.1. Obviously, we're going to use logs. Now, just be careful, right? Because this is logs, um, if I want it greater than, right? Yeah, when you do logs, the, the sign actually flips, right? And I'll explain why in a sec. So that's like a log base of 30 on 31, 0 0.1. Yeah. Um, 
The reason why logs flip is because when I log, when I log 30 on 31, that's actually negative, right? So basically in this question for this, and I guess another way to say it is if you just look at this notion here, that's a fraction. If I want it greater than 0.1, right? I need that number to be, um, actually, no, I, got, I want to be less than, right? I flipped it, yeah, so less than. So because I want this fraction to be smaller than 0.1, the bigger the number, the, um, the smaller the number, right? Yeah, so that's why I sort of flipped it. So, um, so sorry, I haven't flipped it there. Yeah, that's true there. So I want the end to be um, whatever. If I solve this right on my calculator, and um, the question there at the end, you, you're going to need to either round up or round down, right? Let's actually, you know, what? let's put an equal sign. Let's solve them with an equal sign, and then we just round after, right? So that we avoid confusion. So n equals to that, guys. So for those that are using the cool FX eighty two ten. Uh, 8200 you don't need to change the base anymore you literally punch that in but for those that um, don't have this calculator and have the older versions obviously you need to change the base so if I go log um, 30 on 31 on the base let's see what I get 0 0.1 looks like I got 70.222 now so this is what I was getting at so at this stage do you round up or down now if that exactly gives me 0.1, I want it. I want to round up because because this is a fraction. If I round up, it will go smaller. If I round down, it will go bigger. So therefore, the final answer is 71 um, arrangements, right? Or 71, what do you call it? Um, 71 creations or times. Just that, 71 times. So guys, I thought that was a pretty nice question, right? In that it... It was from the extension two syllabus, but the concepts now are in extension one. Will your teacher give that to you? They can, right? It's totally fair game for them. Obviously, hopefully they'll give you a few more marks for part one. Part two is fine. Part three is fine as well. Guys, nice question. If you like that video, please um, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and tell your friends. Thank you very much.